Left, safe. One thing about Clayton, the town of Clayton, it is diverse and it's very welcoming. And you don't see many of the issues that are going on in North Carolina. Now, some counties actually have decreased in population, but if you look at Johnson, it actually has increased almost as much as Wake. And I think the reason for that is not just because we're getting what would you what would you call it spillover from Wake, but just because we truly are a unique county. I think a lot of people like to say small town feel. I've heard that a million times, but it's very true. And, and it's not just a small town feel in the sense of like there's nothing going on here or it's isolated. It's a small town feel in the sense of it's neighborly. Uh, people do seem to care about each other. It's, the, it's diverse, you know, and it's getting more and more diverse. People can feel that in this community, you know. Well, because of my work, I've reached out to several representatives in Washington, D.C. I think certain ones are open to dialogue. The others are not, sadly. If you're not a donor, or um, the majority of voters that they received to get elected, I don't feel like they want to really hear from you. So that's, that's sad because that's the state that I think we're in right now as a country. If you are not a highly thought of person on top of their list, they're not really listening. I think that's where we have to organize and show different faces, different cultures, different people are being affected by their by their policies and the way that they're doing their work, because it is a job and they work for us. I want America and especially towns like Benson to be you know, represented well. I want the thought of growth and smart growth to be at the forefront. I think some of the larger concerns on a state level for us is things like broadband access, making sure like rural areas are sort of treated fairly in the sense of having a, a stake in, in a lot of the access to things. And uh, we just want to make sure that lawmakers and all that are, are sort of focused on, on positive growth that will allow communities to breathe and, and to not be stifled. Yeah, if I would face my representative and voice my opinions, I would try to have a heart to heart with them regarding the community, regarding the hurts that were being felt. Since I would do work with youth, as a youth program coordinator, I hear their concerns about family separation happening, about abuse and power by the police. They're not feeling welcome, ridiculed, and made fun of, even in schools, and they don't feel like they belong. So I would share that as a heart-to-heart I would share how we do not want sheriffs to work with ICE, but try to have dialogue, as well as, you know, some people come to this country just to work and support their families and care for their families, which is what we all want. We all want to take care of our, our family, and they want to be part of the community. I think if I were to uh, wave a magic wand, I would like to see a lot of the, the technological advances that some of these, uh, you know, some of the urban areas, some of the, the cities have enjoyed. I would love to see what that would truly do for a small town. You know, I think, like, let's take a chance. What's the motivation behind that speech? What's the motivation behind that amendment, that law, that rhetoric? what's their true purpose.